Good morning students. Welcome to our online video class of chemistry. Today we are going to start new chapter. Chemical bonding and molecular structures. In previous section you have studied about different properties of elements and about periodic table. Most of the elements do not exist in free stage. They always exist as compound stage. For example, gases such as hydrogen, oxygen, they always exist as diatomic molecules that is H2O2 etc. The elements combined with each other to form compounds. And can you say an example for compounds? Yes, water, sodium chloride, NaCl, all these are compounds. Glucose. And such compounds exist as molecules. And a molecule is a group of atoms of same or different elements. And in, in a molecule of a compound, the elements are present or existing in a definite proportion. For example, water. What is the chemical formula of water? It is H2O. In water, there are two elements that is hydrogen and oxygen. In water, those two elements exist in a definite proportion by mass that is 1 is to 8. Now some questions may arise in your mind. Why do atoms readily combine to form molecules? And what is the natural force which keep the atoms together in a molecule? And why do elements combine in certain fixed ratio? Is it? And why do elements combine together to form compounds? And what is the need for that? All the answers for those questions you will get after studying this chapter. We know that noble gases, noble gases which belongs to P block and it is 18th group elements and noble gases are inert gases and it is non-reactive element. Those elements do not form compounds neither among themselves nor with other elements. Xenon. Xenon however forms fluoride and oxyfluoride compounds under drastic conditions. And why do these elements not show chemical reactivity the inert element or noble gases are helium neon argon krypton xenon and radon and its electronic configuration is shown here and what did you understand from this configuration helium has only two electrons in its outermost orbit, K shell. Similar number of electrons which can occupy in the K shell, that is two. And all other elements of this group have eight electrons each in their outermost shell. All the noble gases have their outermost shell completely filled. And the atoms of all other elements which show chemical reactivity have less than 8 electrons in their outermost shell. The elements with the less than 8 electrons in their outermost shell participate in chemical reaction. They try to form chemical bonds to attain the stability. That means outer electronic configuration has 8 electrons. If an atom has 8 electrons in its outermost shell, it means it is stable. So it is because of their stable electronic configuration, noble gases show no chemical reactivity. Now 
Then what is meant by chemical bonding? Chemical bond. It is the attractive force which holds the constituent particle atoms or ions together in different chemical species is called chemical bond. In other words, chemical bond it is the attractive force hold the atoms together in the formation of a molecule is called chemical bond. We learned about octet rule in your lower class. What is octet rule? In 1960, W. Cosell and T. L. Lewis. They observed that atoms of all the noble gases elements except helium contain 8 electrons in their outer motion. Then all other atoms during chemical combination tend to achieve this configuration. Based on this observation, they proposed a theory for the formation of chemical bonds. And according to this theory, atoms tend to adjust the arrangement of their electron in such a way that they achieve 8 electrons in their outer motion. And this is known as octet rule. What is octet rule? To achieve 8 electrons in their outer motion. Atoms tend to adjust the arrangement of their electrons. This rule is useful for describing bonding in large number of cases. But there is some exceptional cases. For example, octet rule is not applicable for compounds such as PCL5 and SF6. There are more than 8 electrons around the central atom. That is around phosphorus and sulfur. Phosphorus. PCL5. There are 5 chlorine. It bonded with the 5 chlorine atom. And what is the atomic number of phosphorus? It is 15. And its electronic configuration is 2, 8, 5. Its outermost shell contains 5 electrons. So, it needs 3 more electrons to complete the octet. If it is bonded with a chlorine, outermost shell of phosphorus contains 5. And outermost shell of chlorine contains 7 electrons. So, here there are 10 electrons around the phosphorus after bonding with the chlorine. Therefore, octet rule is not obeyed by this compound. Like that S of 6. In the case of S of 6, there are 12 electrons around the sulfur atom when it is bonded with the phosphorus. So, this compound is also not ap applicable for octet rule. What is meant by valence shell or valence electron? The electrons which present, the electrons which present in the outermost shell is called valence electron. And what is valence shell? And the outermost shell is known as valence shell. Let us take carbon. What is the atomic number of carbon? It is 6. Electron configuration 2, 4. And this is subshell electron configuration. Its outermost shell contains 4 electrons. Then valence electron of carbon is 4. And valence shell of carbon contains 4 valence electron. Then what is valency? Valency of carbon Valency is the combining capacity of an atom of an element. 
what will be the valency in the case of carbon carbon its outermost shell contain four electrons it need four more electrons to complete the octet so the valency is four and how the carbon gets four more electrons it gains or share with the other atom to attain noble gas configuration in the case of sodium sodium n atomic number 11 electronic configuration 2 8 1 to attain the octet electronic configuration if one of this electron from the outermost shell loses the sodium attains the stability it acquires the octet electronic configuration so the number of electrons which an atom loses or gains or shared with the other atom to attain noble gas configuration is termed as its valency the common valency of an element is either equal to the number of valence electrons or it is equal to h minus the number of valence electron now we are going to discuss about lewis electron dot symbols gn lewis is an american chemist he introduced simple notation to denote the valence electron in an atom and this notation are called electron dot symbol or lewis symbol and according to this method the symbol of electron symbol of the electron represents the nucleus along with all the inner electrons which do not take part in the bond formation the dots on the symbol represents the valence electrons thus the number of dots represents the number of valence electrons for an example an hydrogen atom contain one electron in its valence shell so its lewis symbol its lewis symbol h dot where h represents the nucleus of hydrogen and the dot represents the one valence electron in an atom of hydrogen then chlorine what is the atomic number of chlorine it is 17 and its configuration is 287 so the most shell contain 7 electron it is the valence electron so the lewis structure is 1 2 3 4 5 the chlorine cl the symbol cl represents the nucleus of chlorine atom and seven dot represents the valence electron then electron dot formula for chlorine molecule that is cl2 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 7 here we can represent like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 this is the shared pair of electron now both chlorine attain stability and in the case of ions the charge is also shown with the symbol for example chloride ion cl minus having 18 electrons has electronic configuration 288 cl minus that means 
it gains an electron. So it attains the octet configuration 28H. And it can be represented as Cl 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, minus. The sodium ion Na plus with the 10 electrons has configuration 2, 8. It is written as Na plus. Sodium represents the nucleus. Another example for Lewis dot structure are given in this picture. Lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine and neon. Today's class we had discussed about octet rule Lewis structure. Hope all of you might have understood what we learned today.